Hello guys, today let's talk about PHP and not that much about Laravel. I saw quite a good tip by Cosme Escobedo, I hope I pronounced it correctly. It's about four loops and for each and range in PHP. This is not about Laravel, it's about PHP. A small tip that you can replace for loop with for each and range. And why would you do that? Because sometimes you make off by one mistakes. What does it mean? For example, you may forget that this is actually from 0 to 9 and not 10. You may mix the sign here, for example, less or equal. So this is kind of not 100% readable because in reality it's not from 0 to 10, it's from 0 to 9. So to avoid that, potentially more readable is this for each range, which is exactly what it says from 0 to 9. So the code is not shorter or anything, it's just easier to read. So that was the tip and it was liked a lot with a lot of retweets. I retweeted that as well, but there's a catch. And the catch is in performance. So I tried to measure both for and for each range. And by the way, did you know that in latest Laravel versions from 9.34, from what I remember, there's a benchmark function. I have a separate video on that one. I will show you that in the description below. We'll give you the link. But basically, you can have benchmark DD and inside you may have array of functions, callback functions. So you measure this one versus that one. And on the screen, you will see how much time it took. So I did exactly that, just a random example. So 10,000 iterations of this loop, of for loop, and then 10,000 iterations of that loop. What is faster? I launched that and this is the result. For loop took one millisecond, for each range 24 milliseconds. Let's refresh it a few times, just in case, one and two. So that's probably something about caching, but okay, refresh one and five, one and three, one and three, one and two. Of course, the difference is not that visually felt because it's one millisecond versus two millisecond. It's not in seconds. But generally, you need to understand that if you care about performance very much, you may find that range is slower. So this is the other kind of side of the coin that I wanted to show you that the tip is cool and range is more readable, but may be slower in some cases, at least in my testing of this benchmark. Maybe in your case, the results may be different with different logic inside. Or maybe share your experience. Did you use range in your projects and did it pay off? Was it easier to read or did it cause any performance problems? Share in the comments below. That's it for this short video this time and see you guys in other videos.